Hi, my name is Sojin Park. I am 15 years old. I have no job and I don't know what I want to be. I am terrified, terrified that I won't ever get a job. By 2030, I will be 27. And according to McKinsey Global Institute, that is when up to 800 million jobs will be replaced by robot automation and artificial intelligence. In a time where so many people have to change their jobs at least twice in their lifetime, how will I find the route to take to lead to my future? Before adults asked me what I wanted to be, they told me to be something. Before they asked me what my passion was, they asked me what I was good at, what subject I was best at, and forced me to be something. When someone finally asked me what my dream was, my answer was someone else's. I thought it was mine, but then, I realized it was not my dream I was dreaming. I was dreaming for someone else. I've recently watched this Korean TV show where there's a student and his mom. The student's dream is to become a doctor, and after years of stressful, stressful studies, he finally gets accepted into a medical school. However, in contrast to his elated mother, the student looked devastated. Then, after just a semester of medical school, the student decides to quit. At first, I thought this was really odd because he had accomplished his dream, and why quit school? But later on, I realized that the mother had forced her son to become a doctor because that was a dream the mother could never accomplish. When someone is forced to do something, they lack in passion compared to someone who does it because it is their passion. However, if someone really wants to do something, they do it despite any kind of hardship that they may face on the way. In contrast to these people, if someone doesn't really have that passion in them, it is much more easier for them to give up if they face any kind of hardship. So Confucius once said that a genius can't beat a hard worker, but a hard worker is defeated by someone who finds it delightful to work. We should dream our dreams, find it ourselves, make choices, and try. My grandparents were innocent children of the Korean War. They were the same age as me when they became the innocent victims of the war. My grand-grandparents' goal was to educate their one son over their four daughters. My grandmother didn't even have time to find her passion. She had to go and earn money for her brother to go to school. My parents were responsible for raising the economy of Korea after the Korean War. They found a job that could earn them a living, not happiness. My dad, his dream was to grow up and to earn money. His future was decided by what he was good at and not what he liked. Higher education was first provided to sons, and if the family could afford it, it would be provided to daughters also. And then there's me, a Korean girl born in 2003. I get an equal amount of education as my brother, and my parents support me to do whatever I wish to do. I can live my dream. I can do whatever I wish to do, regardless of what others tell me. Let us dream, let us try, and let us succeed or fail, because it is our choice to make, and it is our dream to accomplish. Dream for yourself, not for other people. Thank you.